Hey guys, welcome back to Dive the Rock. This week, we're actually at a tourist site, but little do you know, it's actually a pretty good dive site. So we're here with Gary again, and uh, where are we exactly? We're at Cape Zampa, yes. out on, otherwise known, I guess, as Bolo Point. Okay, yeah, and Cape Zampa is actually known for the lighthouse, but if you take a little bit of a trek, you can get in the water behind us and see some pretty cool stuff. Absolutely. I mean, yes, it's a challenging entry, but if you look out here, you've got a great entrance once you're in. You've got a couple different directions you can go. You've got a variety of, of good life. So Gary, we always want to talk safety. So what's your safety tip this time around? Actually, the safety tip, uh, we've been focusing on, on many of these episodes about judging the conditions, and that doesn't change. You need to judge the conditions, but you also need to judge your stamina level with this because the entry and the exit can be rather uh, challenging here. This is a challenging site just, just for the entry and nothing else. So let's check in with April and see what she has to say. So April, tell me just an overview of what this site is like. So this is a beautiful site. Uh, there's actually two entries. This one being a lava rock entry is a little more difficult, um, but definitely a little bit shorter than the other entry. There is an other entry that's around the corner here. It's a trail. Uh, it's a pretty long trail that you walk getting in and then you have a pretty long swim out to your drop-in point. Uh, but you're not doing as much climbing, kind of hiking through this lava rock here. Definitely have to be in good shape to dive this site, but why is it worth it? Um, there's two, a couple different ways you can go. If you go to the right, you're actually going to have a vertical wall. There's lots of little crevices in there, so there's little creatures hiding. Um, you'll get to see lots of different sea life here. Mm -hmm. If you go to the left, you almost feel like you're swimming over some mountains. There's gorges, crevices, uh, swim throughs, so it's quite beautiful. Uh, the depths here do exceed uh, the recreational dive limits, okay. so you have to be cautious in terms of watching your depth gauge as well, of course, as your air pressure. Okay. So it, that's another reason why it's a little more of an advanced site, but it's definitely worth the difficult entry once you get in there. But I would suggest being an advanced diver. What do you look for when you come dive here? So um, your max step will depend on uh, actually your experience level and um, your limits. Mm -hmm. So you always want to dive within your own limits. You can stay at uh, you know 60 to 100 feet here. It starts pretty pretty deep, yeah. uh, but it goes well below 130. And so tell me about your site survey. What are you looking for when you come? So when I come here, um, the waves can be crashing just really ridiculously sometimes against the lava rock, mm -hmm. and I would not dive here when there's waves crashing. Um, it's going to be too hard to enter and exit. Okay. Um, also, nice and flat today would be a doable dive day. It's nice and flat out there, but you want to watch the currents. Okay. So the currents usually generally go uh, north to south, and you would have to plan accordingly with your dive. So um, your exit and entry based on the currents that are present. Just a quick reminder that the Hansen facility is currently closed for renovations, but they are operating out of the Hansen library until November 9th. So there you have it. Next time you come to the Zampa Lighthouse, bring your dive gear. We'll see you next time on Dive the Rock.